Today, I am interviewing one of my very good friends, Mai. Mai, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Mai Mori. I am a friend, and I also do writing. Yeah, so Mai's been in my world-building server for a while. She does a lot of stuff with Blades in the Dark and a lot of stuff with Victorian culture and that sort of deal, so she's pretty cool. I want to ask Mai a little bit about her outlining process because uh, she's really new to outlining. So I want to start by asking you, why didn't you outline before? And like, what was your process like before you started outlining? So I used to not outline because I always thought that if you're outlining it, you're kind of getting too stuck in the details and not actually really doing the creative part of writing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, And my process generally beforehand is that I would have like a very basic idea of where I wanted a story to go and I would have scattered details written down but nothing even close to an outline or really even organized and I would just write the story as it came to me which is a very slow process. Yeah, I bet. Um, and like, just like an order from front to Correct. back. Correct. Yeah. I very rarely skipped around. Um, so what? why did you decide you wanted to start outlining? Well, I decided to start it for our recent challenge we attempted, and I wanted to try something new, and I found some good guides on how to outline, and decided I'll give this a try, see if it works. And it turns out I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, do you feel like it's made like writing easier or better for you? I, I would say it did, yeah because I have a much better idea of the flow of things and I'm spending less time thinking, okay, how do I get from this point to this point? And more time actually like getting to think like, okay, what's the dynamics? What's the themes in this this section or the overall theme of the story? So obviously I've been outlining for a really long time at this point. Um, But when I was first working and doing creative work as, you know, a little baby writer, I was just sort of writing the scenes as I imagined them. But what that always ended up happening is I'd get to the middle of the story and I'd be like, I have no idea what's going to happen now. I don't know what these characters want anymore. So, like, I also definitely found that outlining, it sort of gave me a better understanding of just how stories need to work in general. It's also, if you're outlining and, like, you have your outline, then I think it's easier to move around the story. Work, you don't have to work from beginning to end. You could work on a different later part of the story because you know what leads to that point. Right, right, right. And then, you know, you can, and then since editing exists, if you end up, like, changing minor details or something, you can always just fix it in post. I've got to know that very well recently. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I totally get that. All right, well, thank you so much for uh, letting me interview you today. Um, Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the flippy flop. Take care.